tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious in panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness Everybody, it is your boy Savage Wolf. We are bringing you another live PD LSPDFR edition of live PD. We are going to be uh, here in the city, but as always, guys, you know the deal. Crime never sleeps, and neither do we. Let's go ahead and get into it and see what we got for today's episode. <laughs> Dispatch to me tonight. Roger. Alright, so yeah, last time, guys, we were in the uh, out in the county. And today we're going to be in the city. I would say we could pull this guy over for the underglow, but I'm really not going to be too worried about that. Hopefully we'll get a uh, a good call. We're not going to have our radar or anything up because... Jesus. Right there. In the city, I don't really think we're going to have to run radar. Oh, Jesus Christ. I checked that disturbance call and the uh, complainant was gone. Uh, I'm clear that call. We'll check your 911 report. Hopefully we get some good calls in today's episode. But as always guys, y'all already know how it is. You know, I can go from zero to a hundred real quick here in the city. So we're going to make our way to the south side and uh, hopefully something will come up. But yeah, this is a new interesting series. Um, let's see how it happens, how it plays out. Oh. Attention all units, we have a possible 148 in Pillbox Hill. So it looks like we got a kidnapping of progress, guys. We are going to show up over there. Oh, come on, to get out of the way. We're not going to go with our sirens, but we are going to go uh, code 2. It said to go code 3, but we're going to go code 2 just in case. Come on, to get out of the way. Looks like we're about to be up on the uh, suspect car right now. Is it another one of these? Officers report a uh, possible 148 and pillbox hill. Dispatch, we got eyes, we're in pursuit. Okay, so now they want us to. Oh, dear. The supposed kidnapped person got out of the car there. Not really a high speed pursuit here, but uh Attention all units. Target spotted, eastbound, driving a uh yellow taxi. Service vehicle. And pillbox hill. All units, stand by. We got a pursuit nonetheless. I was gonna speak, but dispatch is taking forever to speak there. Whoa, bro. Target scene heading west in pillbox hill. Back up there just literally knocked right into me. Can I get a unit started on this? There you go. There he is. Back up just fucking right into me there. Let's see if we can't get this guy to get pulled over. So he's not really going fast, but... Dispatch, we got a visual on the perp in pursuit. He's not really trying to stop either. Just gonna box him in. The suspect just crashed! Target scene heading south on... Olympic Freeway. Now we try to get him to stop at gunpoint, but he, uh... He refused to stop there. Target heading south in, uh... 
So get down on the ground, on get down on the ground. God bless these little guys, get down on the ground. You want to cuff them? Well, that was an interesting pursuit there. Uh, the uh, because it kidnapped Suspect individual arrested. ended up uh, hopping out of the vehicle, but we got this guy detained, so we're going to go ahead and move this guy out of the street here so we can conduct the investigation and not get hit by our... Jesus Christ, this car is all kinds of jacked up. Yeah, we're using uh, Sicario's um, graphic mod stuff. I don't know if that's what's causing the, the cars to have that kind of uh, damage like that, but uh, let's go ahead and hat this guy down. See if he's got anything on him. Yeah, at this point in time, sir, you have the right to remain silent. And anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. And he's got a weapon. Up uh, nose looking kind of pistol. He does not have a gun permit, so that's already going to be um, an issue. Yeah, dude, what are you up to, bro? Oh, that's right. Stay with us. Uh, since I've already read you right, you understand I'm a threat of tea? Cool. Uh, yeah, question. Yeah, so what, what were you uh, doing the kidnapping for? You were kidnapping so you were trying to survive? What'd you run for? Other than the fact that you kidnapped him. Okay. I figured as much. I figured as much. So whose weapon is that? girlfriend's weapon so it is not gonna come back as stolen well, what are you carrying it for if you don't have a uh, permit Can I get a unit started on this? <laughs> okay so we're gonna play it like that well then we're just gonna go ahead and get transport for you and get you out of here assistance required in little soul No, stop hitting my car, man. Let's go ahead and let's get a flatbed for this thing. Flatbed assistance required in Little Soul. Yeah, we'll let them take care of the paperwork on this one, guys. That's just a lot. But yeah, that was actually a pretty fun little uh, vehicle pursuit there, and. Uh, Go ahead and get back. I'm not sure what we got going here, guys, but we're gonna check it out. And see what's up with this blue car. I don't think it's gonna come back stolen, but we'll just check it out anyway, just to make sure. Uh, we'll request a vehicle check. Target vehicle license plate. Four seven boy queen tom four 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 target is ten four well, I mean, the way it's parked and everything, so we're just gonna go ahead and get a tow truck out here for it and let them deal with it. Flatbed, assistance and, uh, required in Little Soul. Yes, Tata. Yes, those are mine. Not something we're gonna really concern ourselves with anymore. Whoa. Be reasonable. We have an entire factory running. Attention all units. We have in uh little soul. Bro, did he really just try to jack this car right in front of us? Come on, dude, pull over already. Bro, this dude literally just tried jacking this car right in front of us as we just got off of that call. Not really even a call, but we just got off of that car that was just sitting there. And, uh... Dispatch, show me on 8 and 11. 
Four, copy that. Three, X-ray, 22. Proceed with caution. Requesting one additional 1032 to my location. Requesting code two back up to my location. Okay, well, I guess dispatch is not going to acknowledge my request for code 2 backup, so we're just going to go over here and we're going to get this guy out of the car since we already know he stole this car and uh, see what's going on. Alright, bro, so I'm going to skip to the chase, you know, skip to the point. We saw you break into the car, so I'm going to have to go ahead and ask you to step out. I know you don't have your license and I know you don't have registration or proof of insurance for this vehicle, so... We're gonna go ahead and move over here off the sidewalk so we don't get hit by nobody. All right, bro. No, that was that was probably about the dumbest thing you could have done. You know, the thing is, I was literally right across the street from you and broke into this car. So you gonna have anything on your purse you need to know about, bro? Right, we'll go ahead and turn around. I'm gonna pat you down, make sure you don't have anything illegal on you. Pan open bottle of whiskey and pepper spray. Best we can get it for Grand Theft Auto or you know, carjacking or Grand Theft Auto and public intoxication. All right, well, at this point in time, you're gonna have to go ahead and turn around, put your hands behind your back. You are uh, gonna be under arrest for Grand Theft Auto as well as the uh, public intoxication, dude. That was, like I said, my man, that was uh, really stupid, bro. Like, I'll be you, you chose the wrong time to break into a car. Especially right in front of us like that. That was... That was pretty stupid on his part. We're not going to tow this car, but we are going to call the insurance company out here to come pick it up and... Assistance required in, uh, we'll Little Soul. Citizens report a possible burglary in Puerto del Sol. Looks like that. Let's go over there, code two with the possible burglary. We are in the area, so we are going to show up. We'll reduce once we get closer, guys. I told you to call me later. Actually, gonna be right up on scene, so we are. I'm gonna go ahead and slow down our. Uh, response here. I'm nearby, I'll take the call for you. Show me 1023 on scene. Copy that. 3 X ray 22. Approach with caution. So we're looking for a burglary suspect. We don't know exactly where they're gonna be. With them. Not to say that the person's not around the area, but they're definitely not up here. Officers report a uh, possible 148. Hey, bro, LSPD, don't stop. Don't. No, don't, don't, uh. Don't run. Don't stop. <laughs> Don't run. You better freeze. Hey, bud, get back here. Come on, dude. Don't make this difficult. You're gonna get tased, bro. You're gonna get tased, bro. You better stop. No way. Dispatch taser deployed. Taser deployed. Hands up, bro. Hands up. Down on your knees. Down on your knees. Hands behind your head. Hands behind your head. There you go. Alright, dispatch. We got one detained at this time. For me, 1015. Alright, so on preliminary investigation, we didn't actually find anybody on the roof. Uh -oh. We did end up finding the individual on the ground floor 
a uh, small foot pursuit ensued. After that small little foot chase, we were able to uh, deta detain the suspect by uh, means of taser deployment. Uh, we are going to go back to the uh, original scene of where everything took place and uh, see if there's any property damage. And uh, get this guy on his way booked into the Los Santos County Jail. at this point I don't want to uh, release the suspect into you know, somebody else's custody and then we lose the potential case here on this individual that does want us to look for uh, signs of property damage so we are gonna do just that Right, he's gonna stay right there. I'm looking for any kind of damage or anything like that. It's a new one for me. I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's gonna show us or tell us. No damage to the door. Okay, fair enough. Well, nonetheless, I mean. So why would you do that, bro? For the money? You don't have a job? Is that what I'm understanding? Okay, that's correct. Okay. Well, lucky for you, didn't find any damages or anything like that. How's <laughs> yeah, that so? I mean, you expect me to believe that? Cops only want to hear what they want to hear, right? I'm going to use my right to remain silent. Great. Sounds good to me. No further assistance is obviously needed. We are code four. No further units required. And so there was nothing that I could do, so... I mean, at this point, I'm just gonna pat you down, make sure you don't have anything on your person, and if so, I mean, we'll just go ahead and cut you loose. You know, there's no sign of a burglary or anything like that, and there's no damage to the property. Uh, pencil, loose change, lighter, full pack cigarettes. Debit card and a ballpoint pen. All right, like I said, I mean, I don't see any reason to uh, Seven, four, six, zero, Buffalo, clear. hold you in further. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, take the handcuffs off you. And uh, like I said, I mean, there's no reason for me to detain you or anything like that. So you're free to go on my point. So just uh, kick, kick you out of the area. Just don't come back. And uh, you know, obviously, if we have to come back, we will. You know, you will be under arrest. Okay. All right, bud, you're on, you are free to go. Sit here, motherfucker. Sit. Bye, Adam. Like I said, there's no point to, uh... I'm nearby, I'll take the call for you. There's no point in, you know, arresting him. We didn't have any, uh... We didn't have any, um, what do you call it? Proof that he was breaking and entering or... or uh, committing any burglary or anything of that nature. It did take us a, a few minutes to to locate the individual. I mean, yeah, granted, he did run. But I, mean, I mean, that was minuscule at best on any kind of charges, and paperwork on that would have just uh, not really been worth the charges and all the time-consuming effort on that part. So, uh, now we're going to go ahead and see if we can at least catch one more and then uh, probably wrap the episode up from there. Show me code 4, 10-8. Attention all units. Code 4. No additional officers needed. That was a pretty easy little, uh... Pretty easy little, uh, done deal there. Just cannot think today. I'm trying to speak and I feel like I am just... tongue-tied. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see what we can't, uh, find... ...here in the city. Like I said, we could have probably done some uh, simple traffic stops, but... Oh, that dude ran that red light. Well, at least uh, stop this guy for running the red light right there.
see what his story is. Show me out on a traffic stop. 10 4, copy that. Requesting a plate check on an 8 5 boy Nancy Victor 670. Requesting a plate check on a 8 5 boy Nancy Victor 670. 10-4, copy. Attention unit 3, x-ray 22, 3, 1, 4, 8. That's ticket. Requesting a 1028. 10-4, copy that. 3, x-ray 22. And I get a plate check. Plate eight there five boy Nora Victor six seven zero. Nora, I said Nancy. <laughs> anyway, we'll go ahead and see why they ran the uh, red light. Yeah, let's see what's going on. My car police is just not wanting to cooperate for some reason. Yeah, how's it going, man? I missed uh, Officer Aldridge with the uh, Los Santos County Police Department. Reason for your stop, man, was you actually uh, ran that red light back there at uh. Callis Avenue and Innocent Boulevard and coming up to Innocent Boulevard. Do you have your license, registration, and proof of insurance? Hey, you, you got your ID? Oh, oh narcotics coming from the vehicle. All right, Mr. Rocket, I'll be right back with you, okay? And so we were catching a little bit of odor of possibly marijuana coming out of the vehicle, but we're just going to run her information really quick, guys, and then go from there. Just giving a ticket. Well, she is going to be receiving a. Uh, ticket today. her about the uh smell of the narcotics coming from the vehicle before we give her the uh, citation we will ask definitely about the uh, narcotics uh suspicion of narcotics alrighty mr rocket one thing before i do hand you this ticket um have you been uh Any drugs today? No, the reason why I'm asking is because we, we are getting a strong smell of narcotics coming out of the vehicle. And what uh, narcotics have you used by chance? I'm not really catching the vibe on no magic mushrooms, but uh, do you mind if I uh, search the vehicle? Maybe not, depends on what you define as legal. Okay. Well, what am I going to find if I search you? Well, at this point, ma'am, it actually is kind of my business. So what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Appreciate that, ma'am. I hate to stop the pet crap sometimes. It's got needle marks. All right, man, just come out over here and follow me. Some of these plugins sometimes are just a little slug sluggish looks slow or whatever all right just go ahead and stand right there now with your consent like i said i will just go ahead and pass you down um make sure you don't have anything on your person like i said i can get a female officer if i need to but at this point we already have the consent to search you and search the vehicle because we had the suspicion of the narcotics so i mean do you have any obligation with me patting you down okay just go ahead and turn around just give you a quick pat down okay i'm gonna look and make sure she doesn't have anything on her person that she doesn't need to be having guys one ounce of brown powder, beer can, eight ounce of marijuana, sealed baggie of white pills, loose change, flashlight, half gram of white powder. 
Holy but Jesus. Where's the last one of the day, isn't it? Alrighty, man, at this point in time, go ahead, Charon. You're gonna be placed under arrest for the uh, possession of what appeared to be uh, several different uh, and narcotics. Sorry about that little banging noise, guys. My ring hit the side of my chair. Alrighty, man, so we're gonna go ahead and have a seat in the back of my patrol car, okay? got several different uh, charges of possession she's got the running of the red light which was the original stop and now we're gonna look in the car and make sure the car is clean another half another baggy <laughs> of brown powder Jesus Christ We got possession of methamphetamines, possession of PCP. We're going to go ahead and get this ticket. We're going to go ahead and get this car towed out of here. required in little soul and we are going to reduce our lights and uh we're going to sit right here and request transport and uh yeah guys that's going to go ahead required and uh, in little soul Let me eat 10 7. Roger that. 3 X ray 22. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it wasn't as long as uh, some of the other episodes were done. We're going to try to shorten them down if we can and make them a little bit more user friendly. So you're not having to sit there and watch like a 40 to 50 minute long video just to um, see an outcome of what's going to happen in our, in our uh, episodes. Not ready to hit. Uh, yeah, guys, as always, you know, Brian never sleeps, neither do we. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. As always, if you did, guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to uh, subscribe. And if you like today's content and like today's video, don't forget to hit that, uh, that like button, guys. But uh, next up, this is going to be uh, next episode. I'm out. Peace.